so during my PhD, I worked on uh, developing a new uh, sensor to put on uh, satellites. So it was uh, a fiber optics um, uh, based system. And it was in collaboration with ESA. So it was part of the NPI framework of ESA where ESA finds PhD students to work with. So I developed this project and had a mentor from ESA. During their PhD, I was like, oh, this is so cool. I want to continue working on this uh, in my future. So then I applied here. And fortunately, I got the position. So I was like, yay! <laughs> the research fellowship is on planetary system science. So I am investigating new topics or starting new projects, uh, the advanced concepts team of, uh, of ESA. So I was uh, lucky because I was the first research fellow to uh, work on planetary system science in the team. So I had the complete freedom to do whatever I wanted. And this is one of the only opportunities that one can have uh, in doing their own research plans uh, so early in their career. And we have this really nice and interesting project uh, with Mars Express team. Uh, so we are trying to find uh, a new way to visualize large data sets that are coming from the Mars Express satellite. First, we are trying to find how to visualize the data. And then second, we need to understand uh, or look at the data. This is what it gives us um, as the, the science output. So how to correlate, let's say, different data sets and then from it, understand a little bit the physics behind. For instance, on the Martian surface, you want to understand the relationship between the surface of the planet and what goes on in the atmosphere. So by correlating the data sets coming from the surface and the atmosphere, you can understand a little bit better what goes on. In the future, I'd like to work in a photonics uh, company or optics company, trying to develop uh, new optical uh, sensors for uh, space industry. I would like also to continue uh, doing research on uh, optics uh, system. Uh, we'll see what uh, the future holds for me.